Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're back in the Minecraft Create SMP. Now, before we jump into this video, this server is public and anyone can join it. I will have the video showcasing how to join in the description. But today we're going to start off by going to the Nether. And I don't believe I have a Nether portal. So let's head over here. And the reason we need to go to the Nether is because I need to grab a load of Netherrack. Hang on a second, what is this tree? This tree is Quark. Okay. Uh, Quark is a new mod that was added a few days ago. And there's also a load of sniffers right here. Let's not get distracted and let's head straight into the nether. Now I'm currently lost within this system. I don't exactly know the way out. Is this the way out here? Yes, this looks like a way out. I don't know if it's the way out. But what I want to do is I want to get to a point in the nether that's high up. As then we won't have to worry about lava lakes. But I want to go high enough that we don't have void or air like this. So let's maybe get to a more clear area. Maybe up here somewhere. And now all I want to do is set down. That's the wrong one. Did I bring the wrench? I did, luckily. So it must be this one then that I need to place down. No, nope, that's the same one that I just picked up. So it is this one that needs to be placed down. And is that the correct one? Uh, yes, that is the correct one. So all I need to do now is just power this to then be sent off. And what direction does it need to go in? I guess anyway. If I push it that way, is it going to move in that direction? No, I don't know what it's doing. It's moving around in a circle currently. And there we go. I have now fixed it so it will go in a straight line here. And I just need a load of Neverack. There's no other reason I need this. Just so we can power the gunpowder farm. And I do have some coals. So let's just click that onto there. Let's also break that block. And let's now set this off. There we go. Now I could be doing this at the bottom of the world to also be getting ancient debris at the same time. But I don't really care about ancient debris. This is purely just for the never rack. Well, we just had an incident. There was a block here that was lava. And it broke the minecart before it could place down a rail. So I now just need to make a new one, I think. It's not a furnace minecart, but that's totally fine. And I've placed that one block to forwards. I think it needs to be on that block there because this is where it connects. And then if I put that there, I now need to power this. Do I have any kind of power? I do. I have some levers. So let's just power that. There we go. And then if I just place the rail back there, that should be able to start again. Which I think that is maybe enough. We have at least one double chest full. I think we can head back to the base now. I can always come back for more if we ever need it. I guess the best way for me to do this is to go and grab the storage drawer that is filled with Neverack. And then take it to the system and I can always pull it back afterwards. As the storage drawer is down here, I believe. Okay, someone has broke a lot of this. This used to be all stone. That is 9,065 more Neverack that we mined. And that should definitely be enough. So all I need to do now is... Why are there holes everywhere? All I need to do now is just go and place this back where it was. And I think... Yes, it was right there. Nope, not there. I've just lost it. Where did it go? Is that it there? No, that's not it. That sticks. So where's the storage drawer gone? Is it on the conveyor belt there? No. Oh no, this ain't good. What happens if it gets crushed? Does anything happen to a storage drawer if it gets crushed? I've looked everywhere around here for that storage drawer and it's just gone. I don't know where it went. It must have glitched into something and then vanished or despawned. But I couldn't find it anywhere. So I'll just have to go and get that again off camera. For the next part of this video, I want to work on a new farm. Now we need to head back over to spawn. As I need to grab some quartz. Once again, why has this stopped working? Where is the minecart gone? Has it completely vanished or has someone moved it? It doesn't seem to be here. Is it at the back here? Yes, okay, it's at the back here. Why did it stop, though? I'm guessing it was maybe unloaded at the wrong time. So from here, I just need to grab some quartz, which I can just break in here. And then grab it from over in the storage drawer. As we have almost 400,000. So I think what I'm going to do is, do I have a spare storage drawer that I can maybe place here in its place? I keep forgetting that that big massive hole is there. So let's try and avoid that. And let's pick up this storage drawer as we can use this one. I do maybe need to fill that in. I don't know how that hole got there. I'm guessing maybe it was whoever built the farm down below has maybe done it by mistake. But I don't currently have any blocks, so we'll do that at a later point. Let's currently just break this one. I don't know if anything was voiding, because this does have a void upgrade in it. 
and I'm guessing maybe it might have been voided. And there we go. This one can now start filling up. It doesn't have any upgrades, but I will place this one back there once we are finished with it, which hopefully shouldn't be too long. So now we are back here. I think I want to build something in that sort of area because nothing is currently built there. So if I, that warden is, I think, just a note block underneath here somewhere. So if I just place that down right there, then let's just grab a log, which I guess I could. Yes, I do have some in here or the crafting table that will work and let's now just craft up a load of these blocks into quartz i guess i could do it using the mechanical crafters would create i might do that later on i just want to make a few stacks to begin with just so we can get the start of something in this area so this should be enough now i want this to be quite big and I think let's do it going all the way across like so. And there we go. That is going to be the size of it. We can always extend it into the mountain if we want to. And this is basically just going to be where we farm certain items. I want to build a mud farm in this video. As the insider creates, you can make mud farms automatic fully, I think. Now, let's quickly just have a look. So if we look up mud and then we look at what this can be used and the reason i want it is because i want the chip versions of it i really do like the look of these inside of create it's crafted from mixing water and dirt now if we quickly just look coarse dirt can be crafted with gravel and dirt now coarse dirt requires two dirt and it gives you four if you then hoe this you can turn it into normal dirt again meaning that you can basically duplicate dirt in this way and to gravel, we can get gravel easily from milling or crushing cobblestone. So I guess let's start with the first thing, and that is to somehow farm coarse dirt. So if we just grab a hand crank and then a saw, I should have a saw somewhere in here. So I now have all the mills crafted up and placed down. And these are going to be the cobblestone mills to turn it into gravel. Now, I don't exactly know how mills work in the sense of how they export items. I think if I just put shoots underneath, that should work. So I have now changed it up a little bit just to have conveyor belts underneath the mills. So then we can have everything sent to like a central point. And I can always dig away this mountain and make it so the mountain kind of overlooks the building. I guess that could work if we do need extra room. But now this should work a little bit better. And if I now put these shoots here, because, okay, I did not know you could do that with shoots. Shoots can go diagonal. That's cool. But this is my plan for it. And now if I just put that there, if I throw something in it, it's not currently powered though, so I don't know if it would work. Let's grab a piece of cobblestone or something that can be milled. I think gravel can be milled into sand. Uh, can it? Let's quickly just double check. Uh, milled. Okay, it mills into flint. That's totally fine. This is just so I can test it. And then if I grab one of these and place that there. And then I grab the hand crank and place that there. If I crank this, does it split the gravel out onto the conveyor belt? Or does it split the flint out? So I think it's just work because I got an achievement. And yes, the gravel is on the conveyor belt. Okay, so this works how I want it to. So let's now break all this because this is going to be cobblestone that's going into these. We're going to build a cobblestone generator above it. And we can now just place all of these right there. Now, once it's sent along this conveyor belt, we need to craft it up into coarse dirt, which I guess we could do with... Uh, how can we do this? Because it needs to have two dirt and two gravel. And I need to craft up some crafters, as I don't think I've crafted them. How expensive are they? Okay, mechanical crafters is just a brass casing, crafting table, and then just some quartz and iron. And I have made these before because we use them in the gunpowder farm. Now, the next thing we are going to need is some more of the electron tubes, just because we're going to need some brass funnels so we can pick dirt and gravel on what goes in where. Although I guess I could use a mechanical arm. So now I'm just going to sit here because I need to craft up two of these as we're going to need one for the dirt and one for the gravel. And this is going to take quite some time because I have to do this one by one. I guess I could just make this automatic, but it's kind of annoying to do this. So now what we would need to do is I think we would have some depots at the end. 
So let's craft up two of them. And that is just, I think, andesite casings and then andesite alloys. I also think we're going to move this crafting table into the machine. I'm also not going to use this one just because that's going to be used for if we ever need to craft up any more of them weird, annoying things. Now, I'm not sure if the items will go onto these, but I think that should be fine. I might need to also add like a buffer storage drawer here just so it don't backlog and items don't just sit there. But I think we should be good. So now what we need to do is just do that. It, all we need is a two by two. And I think that should be fine. Now let's just grab the wrench wherever I put that. So I now have these which will split the core dirt, making it so, so no wait, this is completely wrong because we need to turn the core dirt into dirt first. So I guess I need to break all of this and have some kind of placer system right here. I'm going to mess around with this a little bit more and try and get it to a point where it's working because I don't know how to place blocks within create. I don't think there's a system to do so. Well, I have now finished. I haven't decorated or anything and I haven't built the building around it, but it pretty much works. There are some changes I do need to make. This system right here isn't perfect. Now and again, this piston will just randomly break and leave the head and the uh, plow right there. But I don't know why that is. I think maybe it might be going too fast and I could slow it down a little bit. But this isn't reliable. It doesn't reliably break or hoe the dirt. If I quickly just check this storage drawer, this should be empty because this is where coarse dirt goes. And there's 200 in there, which we want zero. So let me quickly just explain how this works. We have the cobblestone generator right here, which is generating cobblestone thanks to water and lava. Then it's sending it down into the mills, which is milling it into gravel and sending it on this conveyor belt. I then do also have some buffer storage drawers right here that will fill up the gravel so the line don't get filled up. And then they go on to these two deployers, which one of these hands will grab either one of them and put them into the crafting grid right here. Then from there, we have the dirt system, which there is some dirt in the system by default. You can see, okay, no, the dirt has run out. Okay, that's something I need to fix. So there might be a few changes I need to make because we might need to put for every two dirt, send two dirt here. Because one for one it will eventually mean that we run out of dirt. But dirt will then go along this line. Which will then be sent over here. Which one of the hands will pick it up from there. And put it into the other two crafting grids. It will then be placed down by this deployer. And it will be tealed. Turning it from coarse dirt into normal dirt. And it will be sent down into either that line going back into the machine. Or this line. Which is a mixer that is being sent water thanks to this pipe. And it will mix it up, sending it then along this line into this storage drawer. And if we have a look in this storage drawer, you can see we have 36 mud. So it is working. The current problem is this. It's not working well enough that it's sending dirt. Like you can see that right there. It's not tilling the dirt properly. So I'm going to have to rework this system and maybe add a deployer that sends out a hoe. This does work a lot better. You can see it is placing the dirt and then hoeing it instantly thanks to this deployer having a hoe. And this seems to be working reliably. Is this going up anymore? So it's 229. I think I'm going to run this for a little while just to see if this system goes up. So there we go. I've just added some shoots right there filled with coarse cool dirt. And they'll eventually filter down into the deployer placing it all. And I'd have 37 right here just to test to see if that goes up anymore, which it shouldn't. And the mud is, which is really good. So this works. I think there are some changes I would like to make. Like I think eventually the dirt will run out due to the fact of it's only sending one dirt for every one here. Actually, it should never run out if I'm thinking about it because it, a crafting recipe takes two dirt. And it makes four coarse dirt. So that's two there and two there. So the two that go that way will be able to craft up two more. So I don't think it should ever run out as long as none of them get turned into coarse dirt. So I'm just going to leave that running for about five-ish minutes while I build up some of the walls for this building. I'm not going to get the complete building done today just because I still need to make it work a little bit better with the design that will be on the inside. But I do want to build other farms here. So I'm going to have multiple layers where you can see that the building kind of slopes outwards. That's going to be another floor. And I'm also going to have that fan or the windmill on the side of the building. I do need to fix it because you can see it's not even on all sides. And there we go. That's what it will look like from over here roughly. I do plan to build some other things on the side here. Like that won't be the end of the building. There's going to be some taller pillars on that side and that side. 
and it's going to go back and connect to the mountain in some way with maybe some sort of sign or something there to say that it's a factory and also i haven't forgot about this which we moved i think in episode two we moved this from the ancient city onto this mountain so that we can do something with it and once we have built up this i do plan to do something over there i've been a little bit busy I was going to end the episode there because I'm currently pre-recording a load of videos, but I thought before I completely upload this video and schedule it, I wasn't happy with the progress we got done. So I've built a little bit of the building and I'm extremely happy with how that looks. Now the top two levels are not done and it might be extended higher, I'm not too sure just yet. And let me quickly just show you what kind of blocks we have used. The side right here is completely made out of rough mud, but I do plan to add some detail into this and depth, but I will do that later on. Then here we are using some glass, which is from Chipped and it is called Small Diamond Leaded Glass. And then we're just using some vertical slabs from Quark. And then also some of these blocks, which is the Quartz Corner Trim. And this basically just adds that little bit more detail to it to make it so it's not so flat. Now on the inside, I haven't changed up anything. The only thing I am going to change is the cobblestone generator. I'm not happy with how this works. And there is so much cobblestone that gets wasted and just left on the floor to despawn, which causes problems on the server. But it's also wasting a lot of time that it could be generating mud. The only thing that I did change in this area is I added a barrel right here filled with diamond hose. Because if this system right here is working... The diamond hoe does lose durability, meaning that it will eventually run out. So having this system just means I don't have to fill it with hose that often. So the first thing I'm going to do to make this better is I'm going to remove the conveyor belt. So we only have the one. I don't really know why I added two. Having two just makes it more confusing when we only really need the one working. Now, the reason I am using these is because I think gravel can also be turned into flint when using crushing wheels. But I don't know if that's true. I think I just imagined that. So if we quickly just look at gravel. In a crushing wheel, yeah, it can only be turned into gravel. I thought there was also a chance for flint. And that's why I didn't use these. But that's not true. So we're going to use crushing wheels instead. I've quickly headed back to spawn. Because I know down here, there is a shop that sells that creates stuff. Now that was a bit of lag. One of these shops right here sells a load of create items. Uh, yes, it's this one. Uh, except alloy uh, it's okay it's closed i don't know if they sell crushing wheels though and it doesn't seem like it okay that's totally fine this area down here has a lot more than i thought there are so many shops i thought most of them were empty but it seems like they aren't there is also a full glass shop right there i think a lot of them are work in progress so they're not fully complete but there's a wood shop, there's a food shop, there's a crate shop. So ripping this whole system out, we are going to make this system just use crushing wheels. And the crushing wheels are going to go a little bit before this. So I would say one right there. That gives us three blocks. Uh, three blocks should be fine. Because we need two for each crafting recipe. So yeah, that should be fine if I put one right there. And then one right there. I just need to then power them. And then all we need to do from here is put... Uh, how do we need to do this? We don't need the mills there anymore. Hang on a second, because I could make this, like, really easy. If I just put some of quartz blocks there and there, and then also at the back here, let's break that because that no longer needs to be there. Let's also then break them two blocks. And if I put a shaft like so... I should be able to power that one just by doing that. Is that spinning in the correct direction? Eh, uh, I think that is. And I just need another one of them right here. Which I might be able to grab from somewhere up in this area. Uh, nope, it doesn't seem like I used any. There was also a sign up there. I never placed that sign. That sign has just appeared there because that wasn't there a second ago. I'm currently rebuilding this, so that sign doesn't really matter. Let's see if this works. Can I put that there? I can put that there. And then if I put... Yeah, but how would we destroy this? I guess the lava could go like there. Because we are going to need the drills. No, that doesn't work. Okay, that doesn't work. I thought it would, but it doesn't seem to flow onto the belt with water in there. And this should be pretty simple to do now. Because we don't need four of the drills. I have just one. And that should work. If I now just destroy all that at the very top there. And then I just now connect them like so. 
And then can I connect that up? I don't think that's going to work. No, I'll have to do it a different way. Maybe if I do something where I connect these to the side. I know the way I can do this. I can just connect it from there. It don't have to be from anywhere else. And then that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to do that. And then I know it's using more of these, but it really doesn't matter. And this now seems to be working. You can see that every time you hear that sound, two gravel comes through, which is enough for one craft. Now I just need to destroy this because this is no longer needed. And it should now work. Why is it not working? Let's head round and see. Okay, all this system is off. Why is this all turned off? Uh, okay. It's probably because where I was powering this from, I have broken. So all that is on. The only system that is off is the crafter and then these conveyor belts. Which I think, yes, I was powering it from here. So somehow this is broken and I can't exactly remember how I had all this powered. Was it just from a conveyor belt going like so? Maybe it was. I'm not too sure. Let's see and make sure these conveyor belts are going in the right direction. Yes, all these are going in the right direction and it seems to now be working again. And I like this. It's way smaller than it was before it came all the way up here. Now I can have a floor and not have to worry about the generator being so tall. But what I'm going to do is that is going to be the real end of this episode. And I'm going to AFK at this as much as I possibly can. But I really do like the look of that building in the background of all the mushrooms. Now, obviously, I am going to have a mushroom theme to it. There's going to be some details which you'll see in the next video that will tie it to our area but i don't have time to do that now but anyway if you did enjoy this video do leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye